Hello friends and welcome back to the Sea Guys channel. Today me and Billy are back to take a look at the Cuban and New World Cigars of the month for September. So I'll start. I have a cigar actually inspired by Mitchell yeah. because we recently filmed a podcast with Mitchell which you guys can watch very soon. It comes so keep out an eye the, out for that one. Yeah, it comes out on the 8th of September. So it's a very, very interesting interview. We get to know Mitchell a bit more uh, mm -hmm. personally and a bit more in a business sense too. So mm -hmm. I think it would be really good. But here we're smoking a Siglo 6. So it inspired me and I've actually picked the Siglo 1. <laughs> not quite the same, I suppose. It's but not quite the same, but still a Siglo, still a Cohiba, and I'm really looking forward to getting into it because I've not had one for probably a few years now. I was going to say, I think I've had only a select few of Cohibas in yeah. my uh, experience, but hopefully it uh, treats you well. Yeah, I'm excited for it. What have you got? So I have the Davidoff Escurio Petite Robusto. Now this one comes in at three and one quarters of an inch long with a ring gauge of 50. Now, there's quite a lot going on in this blend, um, and off the top of my head, I can't remember all the time. So I am going to quickly check my phone, and we'll uh, read specifically what the what the blend is made up of. So the wrapper is a Havana seed Ecuadorian wrapper. The filler is a Brazilian Matafina and Cubra. Has San Vicente Piloto and Alor from Dominican Republic, and the binder is a Brazilian Cubra binder. Quite a lot going on. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be quite intense. I think this small format as well. I think that intensity yeah. is going to be very rich straight from the start. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Two great brands. Mm -hmm. Also for September. Exactly. I think uh, we've we've chosen a couple of little gems. I think certainly have. But but let's get them cut and lit. 100%, let's get into it. So we've managed to make our way through the first third and for the Davidoff. <sighs> I'm not 100% sure. There's, there's like an overall sort of earthiness to it. There's a bit of sweetness here and there and there's a bit of spiciness here and there and they kind of battle each other but almost to a point where they end up working in harmony if that makes sense, do you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Like there's no fierce bit of spiciness that's then battled with a spike with a with a sweetness it kind of as i say moves in and kind of goes hand in hand and works like really really yin, no yin yang? yeah it's a weird one but it works really really well and i wouldn't say either one of them are overly pronounced either okay so it's not like as i say this overly pronounced spice and this overly pronounced sweetness that kind of battle they just merge to one if that makes sense other than that i'm not picking up all that much flavor outside of that to be honest, I would say there's maybe a little hint of citrus, kind of like an orangey twang that's coming in, but only on the last few draws. So I'd like to see if that opens up and brings that into the middle third. I'm thinking maybe we're going to get a little bit more of that. But yeah, for now, overall earthiness, bit of spice, bit of sweetness, working really, really well. Very, very smooth. Really mm. enjoyable so far. Nice, sounds really good. Yeah, bit of a weird one to try and explain, to be honest, but... Yeah. It, well, it works. it's quite a complex blend, isn't it? Yeah, and to be honest, I don't think I've had that many cigars that have got that Brazilian tobacco in. No. So, it's a new experience, but it's a good experience so yeah. far. Really, really enjoying it. Yeah. What about the Cohiba? Talking of enjoying cigars, I, do you know what? I'm actually so impressed with this. Mm -hmm. So, where do I start? Okay, I'll just start with strength, light to medium, maybe. Mm-hmm. Construction's wonderful. The burn is the burn straight. The ash does keep falling off though. It's mm. not a problem. The draw is magnificent. The flavours though. Oh my god. Like I'm just I'm kinda I'm I'm just a little bit blown away by how much this cigar offers. Mm -hmm. I said off camera to Billy, I said, if you handed this to me without a band and I smoked it. I would think it's a new world cigar. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of complexity to it, but I can work it out. It's a very easy cigar to work out for me personally anyway. So straight up, I had a lot of earthy notes. I then got a lot a lot of this like malted biscuit or mm -hmm. um, like a, a gingerbread note as well. Right. And then it finished off really nicely with some coffee. It's just like, I don't know, there's a lot of sweetness and then there's that gingerbread, which is ever so slightly spicy. Mm -hmm. But I, I wouldn't really call it a spice, it's more of a tingle. Mm. I don't know, it's like... It's, it's funny you say that because it's the same kind of spiciness that I'm getting. It's like a slight tingle on your tongue, okay, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's the same sort of... 
Yeah. Profile, I suppose. I have to say, though, that this is probably my favourite Cuban I've had for a while. <laughs> that's why it's a Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very true. It's just beautiful and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just put the ranking of key right up there. So. <laughs> they're, they're holding up their name. Oh, they certainly are. Just yeah. going back to the Davidoff, I forgot to mention the, the construction side of things, but as you said, the drawer on this is absolutely perfect. It's not too tight, it's not too loose, it is literally perfect. The burn, I don't know if you can see this on camera, pretty much perfect as well. Little bits here and there, but they self-correct very, very quickly. Mm. Um, the overall look of the cigar, the black band with the silver really, really just stands out. It's really, really nice. And to be honest, the Vitola isn't one that I would usually go for, Petite Robusto. Mm -hmm. I usually go for a normal Robusto, things like that, and I kind of overlook them smaller Vitolas, right? Yeah. But I think this might have changed my mind. Okay. For them 20, 30 minute breaks, this might just be yeah. the perfect cigar. Yeah. Mm. But. We'll see where it goes. Yeah. Got the second and the uh, final third to go, and then. Uh, I mean, I'm getting right down mine, so <laughs> let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. We'll catch up. Yeah. Okay, so we've made our way through the middle thirds, and for the Cohiba Ciclo One, you have been <laughs> blown away by this cigar so far. <laughs> <laughs> I really have. This is this is incredible. Um, so I'm still kind of getting like those earthy notes and that, that, that sort of coffee there. Mm -hmm. I'd say the gingerbread sort of died down a little bit with the, the malted biscuit. Um, I've now gotten a lot of like, I can't pinpoint exactly, but a lot of savory notes. Okay. But it's also very creamy. Mm -hmm. That's that's the change that I've gotten, but it's so, it's such a prominent flavor profile mm -hmm. uh I, I don't know like it's hard to pinpoint certain things yeah yeah i don't know uh, what i do know though is that it's great <laughs> it's brilliant as a quick summary yeah phenomenal cigar yeah. so far it really is yeah i, I have nothing else to say <laughs> straight on to you yeah i mean the davidoff again it's been good um I'm really, really enjoying it. I just said to you off camera just before we, we switched it on, but it's, it's changed quite dramatically. That earthiness is still there, but that earthiness is now accompanied by an oaky body with hints of leather, hints of salt, and it's also brought a little bit more of a bitterness to sitting at the back of my palate now. Mm. It's, it's, it's really good. It's enjoyable. As I say, I know we're sitting here praising it, not really knowing what to say, but it's just... Sometimes it just it's works. better left unsaid. Yeah. I mean, the flavors aren't prominent specific ones that you could pinpoint or, you know, attach to a food or anything like that, but the body of this is just deep, dark, yeah. earthy, and it's, it's just resonating with me right now. Mm, it's just really, yeah. really, really enjoyable. They've got some really great blends at they, Yeah. You may, I mean, I, I've had the Yamasa. Have, you, have yeah. you had the yeah. Yamasa? That's very unique. Probably one of the most unique cigars that I've ever mm -hmm. had the opportunity of trying. Really, really nice. The Escurio, I've not actually tried the Escurio. I've had the Escurio. I had the Escurio in the Grand Perfecto when I went to the Tomorrow. factory tour and yeah. stuff. And that was the first time I ever had an Escurio, but that was phenomenal back then. Yeah. I mean, that was the best part of what, almost two years ago now. Was it? Oh well, yeah, it was. No, it was February, last year. February last year. Oh, wow. Almost two years. About ago. a year and a half. Oh, wow. so. That's but, um, next. Yeah, I bet you can't wait now. Yeah, I'm <laughs> But yeah, no, it blew me away back then. And obviously in the setting that I had, it, it was just phenomenal. But going back to that blend in a smaller format has just reminded me exactly what it is. You know, it embodies that dark earthiness and it, it really is just something special. Mm. But as I say, we'll take it into the uh, final third. Yeah. See if it changes a little bit more. I think that bitterness is going to elaborate into something. Or elaborate, it's probably not the right word, but it might transition into something. I don't know, but yeah. I'm intrigued to Fingers find crossed, out. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So we're coming to the end of these cigars today. And for the Davidoff, I would say that these flavors from the midpoint of the cigar have kind of carried through. That bitterness has kind of stayed. It sits at the back of your throat. The sweetness is almost completely vanished. There's not really much of that left. Very, very slight tingle on your tongue here and there i wouldn't say it's a pronounced flavor at this point um but yeah throughout it's blended it's mellowed all the way through up until a point and then it gets quite intense okay. i would say the flavors are very bold and it almost feels like i've sat here and eaten like a full meal like i feel full 
it's a weird thing to say about a cigar because obviously you're literally just yeah. you're just smoking the cigar but it almost feels like i've had that hearty meal of an evening yeah. right? very meaty yeah, yeah i would i would definitely say that this is an evening evening cigar i wouldn't necessarily give you one of these in the morning or early afternoon i would say if you had a good hearty meal on the evening um the Escurio blend is probably one to go for, just to close yeah. off the night in the best way. Nice, but sounds good. Very enjoyable cigar, I've really, really enjoyed it, so can't complain. No, awesome. And for the Cohiba, the flavor profile hasn't changed. It's um, kind of become a little bit more bitter, but mm -hmm. that's just because, of, I think, because of the Vitola, it's quite a thin cigar. And it's burning very hot now mm. because I'm towards the end. I've got maybe less than an inch now. And I'm just, I don't know. I just really, really enjoyed it. Mm. I, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to rate it a nine out of 10. Okay, you're going in with a rating. I've, I've gone in with a rating because I'm genuinely so impressed with it. Mm -hmm. The last Cohiba that I had made me feel sick to my stomach. <laughs> and that was because I was not ready for the strength. And that was very, very early on in your it uh, was, it was. cigar smoking It was within journey. the first what six months or so something like that yeah um and this, very funny story <laughs> <laughs> and this you can have any time in the day mm -hmm. so i i could have this in the morning afternoon evening whenever and i even said off camera to you i i've like i never ever say this i never i usually only have one cigar and then that's me done mm -hmm. i could light up another one of these right now yeah when you said that to me off camera i was pretty shocked yeah. and as i said to you off camera it was that's a statement and a half because yes. as I say, there's not yeah. many cigars out there that you could smoke back to back or enjoy back to back. It's so that kind of all of that flavor and that experience that you get from it yeah. with the very mellow strength and yeah. easy going experience, I suppose. Yeah. Just mind blowing. Mm -hmm. I think people like you guys really need to pick up the sampler for these because like phenomenal next, next choices. Level. Yeah, mm -hmm. honestly. And great, great sizes as well, mm -hmm. you know. They'll fit in at most part of your day as well. You're not stretched for time. I mean, what, half an hour? Yeah. At most. I mean, if you're a slow smoker, you may stretch it to 40 minutes, but yeah. really, really good. 100%. Yeah. But let us know if you guys have tried these below. Let us know your thoughts on them. If if you did enjoy them, leave a review on the website um, at seaguys.com. And as always, stay safe and happy hyphen. Peace.